hey what is up you guys so i just pulled up to my six week postpartum ob appointment and i'm currently just in the car so i want to just do this um intro before i go into my appointment i have about 10 minutes i'm excited to go talk to my doctor and just see you know if it's okay for me to get back um active um get back in the gym and everything like that i want to get that okay from my doctor first i kind of want to talk to her about seeing a pelvic floor therapist or getting a referral to go see one i really just want to um, talk to her about the pains i've been having because i've still been having pains um you know giving birth you go through so many changes your body go through so many changes i still be having like pelvic pain and like my legs be like so weak you guys like so weak and it's just so weird because my legs just feel weak and i just feel like if i ignored the fact that how weak my legs feel like i would just my legs would just go out on me i don't know what it is like i really need to get back in a gym like and strengthen my entire body i really need to strengthen these legs because i'm like why am i feeling so weak so yeah that's one of the things we're gonna do today for this update you know i'm giving you guys this one month update i'll be back after my appointment and let you guys know how it goes a few hours later all right you guys so my appointment went really well with my doctor i swear every time i leave my ob it's like a therapy session you know we just talk about everything and yeah i just get everything out it's just always good conversation so today was a good appointment my ob she was like filling on my stomach to see where my muscles and my abs were at um just seeing if they have cut have come together because you know like I had a baby, you know, my muscles are stretched, have stretched out and my abs have stretched out. So she checked my abs to see if they have come together, which they haven't fully yet. So she said that when she was pushing down on my stomach, she can fit like three fingers in between like my abs and how she can tell that they have fully came back together if she can only fit like one finger in between. So. Um, she gave me a list of different exercises that I can do to help strengthen my abs and to also make sure that those muscles come back together. One thing that I thought was interesting that she mentioned, she said that to not do any sit-ups, like any sit-ups, any full sit-ups, because that's going to spread my abs further apart. And yeah, it doesn't help strengthen my muscles in my stomach at all. And so I thought that was very interesting. So yeah, that's one of the major things um so she checked my abs she checked my pelvic um and my uterus to make sure everything was good down there as well which is good so i didn't tear when i gave birth so i'm doing pretty well down there so my main concern i say would be just my core area my abs just strengthening my abs getting back in the gym and doing the different workouts that she told me and yeah just taking it slow and once I get stronger, just building that up. And yeah, so your girl about to get back to it. I need to lose this little baby fat, lose this little pudge, and strengthen that core area because the summer is still here. No swim. By the time I get, by the time I even get like my stomach right, winter is around the corner and I will not be outside. But yeah, that's a little update, you guys. Um, I'm about to be on my way to the store, so I will see you guys. So store it, then I'm going. Then I'm going to go home, give you guys an update on baby girl, let you guys know how she's been, and yeah. So I'll see you guys later. Say hi. Oh, hey, baby. Ooh, is that a smile? Hey. <laughs> hey. Okay, you guys, so I wanna just give a quick shout out to this brand, to Bees. I think that's how you say it. But they sent me um, three onesies for baby girl. Now, to Bees is the world's first bottom-up baby bodysuit designed to make changing your baby easier than ever. Their baby bodysuits are chemical-free, tagless, and 100% GOTS certified organic yes 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 they are 100 percent cotton shout out to them so they went ahead and sent me these three colors that you guys see on here i could have got all white but i wanted to get colorful and the size that i got for baby girl is zero to three months you say thank you tubbies say thank you 
Say thank you. Yeah, that's a little smirk. There you go. She said thank you. All right, you guys. So I actually went ahead and took all of the colors out. So here's all of the colors. I'm going to go ahead and put the blue one on here. So you guys can watch me do that. a little bow on her head as you guys can see it's a little blue one i don't i wish i had one that was like the same color or like a floral or something but we're gonna work with what we got thank you again to these hopefully next time we can get some all white ones when she gets a little older but she's getting a little fussy so i'm about to put her on my boob real quick and then we'll be back now let's go ahead and talk about baby so baby is doing so well she is growing so much she weighs 10 pounds now at birth she weighed eight pounds and four ounces she's currently weighing 10 pounds now she did not lose no weight if you're a mom you know that sometimes a few days after giving birth your baby can lose weight mine she did not she's been eating really well she's been latching pretty well to my boob she's been drinking that milk every three to two to three th or two to four hours whatever so she don't she don't miss and then we are also a part of this research for breastfeeding moms and so me and the baby is part of the research so they basically are testing out my breast milk and they're just asking me different questions i have to complete like different questionnaires about my physical health mental health my diet and things like that and then they'll go ahead and take like the baby's weight i will actually include a clip right here in this incubator she is naked with this little cap on so the cap is on her head to prevent her hair from like flying around and moving because there is actually warm air that is blowing and she's naked of course because they need to get her weight they are checking you know what percentage of her body is fat what percentage is muscle and things like that and also during this research they take baby's weight before and after i breastfeed her and also during that time i can ask questions if i'm having trouble with breastfeeding or if I have any questions regarding baby. So yeah, I think the research thing is pretty cool. And so they're gonna see baby every one month, three months, and six months. And also I wanna talk about like my milk production. Um, if you guys haven't checked one of my videos out where I did a video on how much milk I can, I can produce in a day, definitely go check that out. My milk production has been pretty well. Um, I've been producing a lot of milk, which I'm thankful and grateful to be able to do that because I know a lot of women aren't able to produce a lot of milk or they just struggle to produce in just enough milk and so I'm definitely just super grateful that I'm able to produce a lot of milk I want to show you guys how much milk that I have so let's just go ahead and do that all right you guys so I'm downstairs in the basement so we have like a little freezer in the basement so I'm going to show you guys this first since I'm already down here so I have all this milk up here um I don't know how much it is but this is a lot of milk I'm gonna buy some containers so I can get this a little bit more organized but hey this is the real okay this is this milk back there but yeah I only have milk on on the top shelf let me see how to mess it up but yeah it's a lot of milk up there um and now I'm about to go show you guys the milk that I have upstairs in the freezer. All right, you guys, so it's a bunch of stuff in here. I'm definitely gonna take some time out today to like organize this freezer, but I got all my milk is on this side. I have milk even behind this. So this is like two rows. It's a lot of milk in there. I'm going to one of these days take all my milk out like i said and organize it and give you guys a count of how much milk i have once i get those containers 
it'll make everything easier with counting and just figuring out just how much milk I actually have. So just stay tuned for that, you guys. That's gonna be a whole nother video because I have to wait for the containers to come in. And I also see that you guys have been asking me a bunch of questions about labor and delivery and why I gave birth in the position that I did, which was like the all fours position. I'm gonna leave a picture up here. Definitely make sure you guys stay tuned for that video. I'm gonna be doing like a story time of my birth experience because I see that you guys have a lot of questions and I wanna be able to answer those questions for you guys. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this video right here. Make sure you guys go ahead and like this video if you enjoyed watching. And do not forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell and I will see you all on the next video. Bye. Thank you.